Want to fly using the new glider in Sons of the Forest? Here's the location and here's how you use it and everything you need to know. Plus, what the binoculars do, duh, and where to find them too. Let's go. So you find the glider pretty much close to two tents, right on the edge of the cliff, I'll show you guys. And it's just south of where you find the ice cave with the can opener, just outside again on the little ice lake. You find a little green valley or rise that goes up, so it's quick and easy, so you don't have to actually go up the mountains. And then this should be leading to the left-hand side. And this is where you're going to find the two tents and then the glider. Shout out to Spicy here for helping me. Here it is. It's something that you cannot put in your backpack. It's just like a log. You can throw it on the floor, you can drop it, and there are some real limitations with it. Once you use it, obviously, yes, unless you're going to be running around the forest with it, you won't be able to necessarily keep it on you quick and easy. It won't reload. It's not an item that you'll find loads of, so you can't just spam or cheese or keep coming up here to get new ones. And at the moment, there is no way to track it. I assume that I'd be able to put a tracker on it or something. As you saw there at the start, I actually died while doing a dive. And when I respawned in an enemy encampment, obviously I had no clue where I actually died or where I'd left the glider. That's the downsides. The positive sides are it's amazing. It's so good to be able to fly across the map. I'm sure they'll have the ability to put a tracker on it. If they don't, they're absolutely mad. And yeah, it's just great seeing all the map underneath you properly being able to get to a location. You can maintain a bit of air and distance by making sure that the green magnet there is in the center. Obviously, if you go up or if you aim it up, then you will make sure you go a bit slower. And if you go down, then obviously you're gonna start diving. Such a great feeling. I never got a chance to use the original glider in the first forest game. So this is a brand new experience. And this one you don't craft. Obviously, the first one you had to craft from pieces. Yeah, it might end up being a bit of a godsend that you used to be able to craft it and now you can only go and actually find it. But I still think this is pretty bags of fun. You just got to be careful that you don't get too close to the ground. I was quite surprised there. I didn't feel like I dropped that high, but yeah. Once they had the ability to put a tracker on it, it's going to be golden. You can literally get to any point on the map using this as well. It will definitely get you to where you want to go quickly as well. You gain a bit more speed if you aim it slightly down, obviously, and then level up a little bit. There is no specific buttons. You just literally jump off a cliff and that's it. It will carry on. And you can see there you don't clip against any of your other friends or players. That said, it can get stuck on stuff and I was constantly losing it trying to jump up a mountain, which I'll show you guys in a second. I never tried directly going right into the ground to see if that would directly kill me, but I took this landing in maybe not the most graceful way, and it seemed okay. I didn't lose any health or anything, and obviously just going through some of the thinner trees, and boom, landed nice and easy. Just so happens, this is the location where you pick up the binoculars. Exactly the same spot where you got the camouflage suit, basically the kayaks, just on the west-hand side of the coast. The binoculars don't have any special buttons to use either. You just simply press RT, or right mouse button maybe, and then it goes equips. It's got pretty fast draw when you're moving it around, but yeah, you can't zoom in or zoom out on anything with it. By the looks of things, you can't destroy them. My good friend Spicy here helped me out, shout out to him. He threw an explosive and you can see it's still okay. I smacked away it with my ax with structure damage on and yeah, it doesn't actually get destroyed. If you try jumping off at too low a height, it basically will fall off. So you can't really run and get any height. You do need to be on a little cliff edge. And you've got to look out when you're jumping as well. So like I said, it doesn't activate pressing the button. You just simply jump off or fall off a cliff and it should activate. But honestly, amazing. It's got some nice sound effects. And yeah, just got to hope that we can put a tracker on it at least in the future. And as far as I know, it's the only location. There may be some more. If that's the case, I'll give you a lowdown on them as well. But this is the first one I found, so I thought I'd show it to you. It's not that hard to get hold of. You can crash land it in water and you will be able to push it just like a log. Just make sure you're pushing it from in the middle rather than the sides. So if accidents do happen, you can take it or get it home. So for now, if you're going to drop it or leave it anywhere particular, make sure you've got a tracker at least and whack it on a stick next to it. So that's pretty much it. Go and check out my JPG 100 Days channel if you want to see 100 Days of Sons of the Forest and where I live stream. And I'll see you at Bags for more guides, news and more. Later, bye.